The Severny Press Enterprise has developed a tracked remotely controlled platform designed to defeat personnel, mine and undermine military equipment and various enemy infrastructure. According to the description of the invention available to TAS, the robotic complex can be manually controlled by an operator or operate in automatic mode using artificial intelligence technologies and carry an anti-tank or anti-personnel mine as a combat load. The invention relates to the field of military and special equipment, namely to robotic complexes designed for remote operation in combat conditions, reconnaissance activities of the area, and can be used to deliver, mine and remotely detonate an anti-tank mine or other ammunition at moving and stationary enemy targets, the document says. According to the description, the development has a high cross-country capability and a flip system, low noise due to an electric motor, ease of operation, multitasking due to a set of visual controls and various sensors and the ability to install a large range of mine ammunition. As the latter, the inventors propose the use of TM-62, TM-72 or TM-89 anti-tank mines, as well as the PMN anti-personnel mine. It is noted that the system can operate in three modes, autonomous, semi-autonomous and manual. In the first case, before launching the robot, the operator loads a targeting program into its microcomputer, after which the platform autonomously performs the task, thanks to machine learning and machine vision. In semi-autonomous mode, an anti-tank mine travels to the specified coordinates according to the program in radio silence mode, which prevents the possibility of interception of communication and loss of control of an anti-tank mine, and at the moment of arrival of an anti-tank mine in the target area, the operator takes control and hits the necessary targets according to the task. The reverse process is also provided in semi-autonomous mode, namely, the anti-tank mine is manually controlled by the operator to the target area, and at the time of arrival it works autonomously, according to the specified program, the document also says. Finally, the operator, using a video control panel, can control the entire device from the start of movement to the completion of the task of hitting the target. The detonation of an anti-tank mine is carried out, as conceived by the authors of the invention, by triggering an electrohydraulic jack, which cocks the mine fuse through the trigger mechanism with the required force. It is specified that the robot can be equipped with neodymium magnets in order to be able to magnetize to the metal body of enemy military equipment move with it to the required distance and detonate an anti-tank mine in the area where the enemy will be most damaged. A prototype of the platform was made, having a length and width of 70 cm, a height of 40 cm. The payload weight is 70 kg, the maximum speed is up to 100 km per hour, and the range on a single battery charge with a minimum load is 1.5 hours. The proposed anti-tank mine is robotic and its components can be made from standardized, standardized and purchased components available on the domestic market, as well as parts using solid materials manufactured on well-known technological equipment, the authors of the invention added. Earlier. A Russian group has successfully converted old hoverboards into new, ground-based robots for use on the battlefield in Ukraine. Two majors said they combined two self-balancing scooters to build a four-wheeled platform that can function as a suicide munition. 
It can also carry anti-tank mines, deploy smoke bombs, and transport supplies to frontline troops without risking a human life. Named the Combat Cockroach, the makeshift robots are reportedly capable of traversing various terrain, including grass and rocks. The group also noted that its frontline ready creation can be controlled from up to 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, away and guided by a drone view. As for payload capacity and speed, each hoverboard is said to be capable of carrying 100 kilograms, 220 pounds, at speeds reaching 12 kilometers, 7.4 miles, per hour. Both Russia and Ukraine have utilized improvisation to increase their lethality and gain a tactical advantage on the battlefield. In the ongoing war in Ukraine, Russia has been transforming hoverboards into battlefield robots. By connecting two hoverboards, a Russian group has created four-wheeled vehicles for various purposes, from kamikaze attacks to transporting supplies. Both Russia and Ukraine are using thousands of improvised means of warfare. The conversion of common drones into weapons is a prominent example, now a common sight on the front lines. Ukraine, in particular, has deployed a fleet of unmanned vessels made from jet skis and speedboats in the Black Sea. Both sides are also developing low-cost ground-based robots, with Russia's latest initiative being a notable example, according to New Scientist. A notable project is by the Russian group Two Majors, which has developed a vehicle called the Combat Cockroach. This creation can navigate different terrains, including tall grass, showcasing its versatility. These hoverboard-based machines can carry up to 100 kilograms and travel at speeds of 12 kilometers per hour for three hours on a single charge. They are used to place smoke bombs, transport anti-tank mines and supplies, and even perform as suicide bombers. Two majors states that they can be controlled from two kilometers away, likely using a drone for guidance. In contrast to expensive military vehicles, which can cost around 1 million euros, a hoverboard is only about 150 euros, making it an attractive option for warfare. Командиров наших, их командиров, то есть 